All right, what's good, YouTube? Here with another video for you guys today. Not live on stream. Going to focus on just having good, wholesome content and fire gameplay. No distractions. No trolls. Not today. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Honestly, it's been great on Twitch lately. I don't, I don't know why. I just feel like uh, at this point of the year for MLB, there's so many trolls because it's like dead game. Anyway, that little tangent aside, what's today's video for you guys? Well... We got sub 80 power team build, but it's sub 80 power averaged. So combine both power stats. If they're below 80, you fit on the team build. And you'll see there's only really one one or two players um, that really have an issue with this. But it's nice little, it's nice, it's nice. It gets guys involved that have lower power, but good swings or guys that have really good power versus one side and terrible versus the other, they get them involved. It's nice, good way to get these guys involved. So what do we got here? Kenny Lofton leading off. We don't even gotta explain his power. He's glitchy. I really like Kenny Lofton cards. He'll be in center. Paul Molitor batting second. Um, I used him in ranked recently. Paulie and I had a little bit of an issue. We didn't see eye to eye, but hopefully this video, he will be decent because I don't think his swing is that terrible. Tony Gwynn batting third. I like Tony, man. I really do. I wish, and we can go back to the days of MLB 19 where he was really solid. Tommy Edmund batting cleanup because he's got the most power and he's an example of one of these cards. 86 power versus left, but 72 versus right. Average, average them together. It's a bit under 80, so he'll be batting fourth. Robin Yount under 80 both sides. Keith Hernandez, same deal. Jason Kendall, another one of the guys. 80 power versus lefties, but average them together. He's got 71 versus righties, so clearly it is lower. This will do. Lou Brock, same deal. We know his power is less than 80, but he still plays. He plays Rod Carew on the bench. Um, it was between him and Keith for first base. Mets bias plus Rod Carew having less overall power. And um, he's a little faster, but Keith's way better on defense. I'm going to go with Keith. And Rod Carew is going to provide a lot of punch off the bench as a righty killer. Ken Griffey Sr., you know we love this card. He's the other lefty. Harrison Bader, 91 power versus righties, but 65 versus left. A great chance to see this card in action with that low numbers versus lefties. We got a reverse splits card here. Chilling. Same deal with Joe Torre. 85 versus righties power-wise. 63 versus lefties. Same deal. Yadier Molina. He is another one of these cards. So it's three cards that meet this. Oh, a couple cards. more, Three or four. 85 power versus left, but 73 versus right. Average them together, and it is less than 80. So, that's what we're going to rock with. Pitching this game is going to be Jake Arrieta. Stroman's here to get some stamina back. The rest of these guys as well. Uh, Diaz is going to get some stamina back as well. He's not going to be used. The rest of these guys are good to go. If you're excited for this video, man, like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel, and put that bell on. In case you haven't, in case you're new, whatever the deal may be, don't want to miss any content, guys. All right, that's pretty much it for this intro. Let's get into gameplay. We ready to dun, dun, dun. We ready. Don't you quit on me, bro. This is quit season when I'm on Hall of Fame. Oh! Hose him, Tony. And he's out. Tony Gwynn with a piece. What a huge throw. Okay, this guy's actually got a swing on him, huh? Got him, baby. Okay, buddy. Welcome to Hall of Fame. And another fluky. And he's gonna get back picked. Let's go, baby. Bad base running for this dude. Kenneth, a little dumpy. A dumpy? Hold the phone. Yo, Kenny about to bat 5,000. Polly! What a tanky! Oh, and the sub-80 power team has already got a tank under his belt. Only 96 off the bat. Tony with a square. There it is. A dead bat moment. Get that shit out of here, baby. It's going to drift. No way. It's actually leaving. Tom, yo, the sub-80 power belt. Game two. Okay. We got to do it, baby. Corey Kluber. One down. Get there, Kenneth. Let's go, sir. Let's go, sir. We got a dirty-ass outfield, though. I'll tell you that. Lou Brock, Kenny Lofton, Tony Gwynn. All oh, lefties out there, too? I didn't, he didn't accept my friendly. I'm going to bunt this. It actually worked, bro. Oh, my God. This game is so stupid, man. Rewards toxic players. I mean, we just watched it. All of a sudden, I can't throw strikes when he's doing bunt dancing. And then hits a home run like that. 
All right, two down. Let's go. Game is absolutely in shambles. I had 0-2 on Cedric Mullins. Kept throwing perfects, but he's doing a bunt dance. I don't know what that does, but it makes you the ball miss. I don't understand. All over it. All right, so the sub-80 power get me there. Oh, Paul. Paul, don't die on me, Paul. Man. Sub-80 power team build killing me already. Are we serious? Hey, we'll take it. Where, whichever way we can get a bunt. a boy, Tony. Okay. All right, next thing. Let's go. Here we go. One down. Let's get it, baby. We'll be all right. We'll hit. Why is that a thing? What is that? Of course, man. Come on, bro. Like, I knew this shit was gonna- I knew this shit was happening. That's what I'm talking about, man. Mad nonsense. That's gonna be a hit, ain't it? <laughs> He's out. Gotta hit. Whatever the nonsense is, gotta hit through it. Come on, Robin. Atta baby! Alright, sub-80 power getting me again there, man. Another great swing. And unfortunately, it's Corey Kluber coming up. Fluke him! Oh, man. That just killed the rally. I want DHs in this game next year, bro. Well, we're on fire, man. I don't know what to do. Couple great swings. JK's drops in in right, in right center, and we have a whole different inning. But we're using these guys, so... I mean, hey, look, the way you can look at it is like this, right? It's a case in point on why a lot of guys with lower power don't get used, man. There's just no real place for them in the game. Sadly. Sadly. There's too many guys with 100, 125 contact and 125 power that are well-rounded. Like, if Vlad Guerrero has 125 contacts and 105 plus powers or whatever, why would anyone ever use Tony Gwynn? It does, yo, it does something. I don't know what it does, but it does something. I can't imagine, like, being such a little bitch like this. It's crazy. Here you go, Tommy. I queued up for ranked seasons, and then when I was forced to play ranked seasons, I was forced to play because my, you know, like, I didn't want to sit my friend like, meh. My dick's little. All right, can we beat this guy? Yeah! Let's go, baby. Oh, it's going to be so tough to get to win this game, man. Instead of making this an all-whatever build, it's going to be a showcase on why power matters in this game. Yeah, there's no chance to win this game. There's no chance. Right on the side. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yes. All right. The flukies are there, man. No. Oh, why did I swing at that? <laughs> this team is brutal. This guy's so bad, too, bro. My god, man, he's so bad. I feel like I'm fighting in Zelda when you don't have your weapons yet. Five in a row strikeouts for Corey Kluber. So let me get this straight. This guy's got a bailout home run with Josh Bell, and then a bailout two-run home run with, with uh, Mickey Mantle. That's the runs of this game. Yo, we have to stop. Every time this weirdo bunt dances, I can't either throw a strike or uh, next thing he touches with a bat flies. Is that like a cheat code in the game? Oh my god. This guy is so bad. Can we please beat him? Holy shit. Not leaving? Oh, Lou Brock takes him deep. Lou Brock, two for two. Three to one. Back in the game. Let's get it. Yo. Oh, I can't stand this dude's swing, bro. 
He just drops down and it just delays it. All right, three to one. We're down two. We're up in the hit column, but... Bro, this guy is not good at this game. God, I cannot lose this game. This has got to be a dub. Got to be a dub. It's got to be a dub. I need to have it. I have to have it. Got him. Got him. Let's go, man. We're better than this guy. We're hitting better than this guy. And we're pitching better than this guy. And a drill piece deep center field by Tony Gwynn. And this is an exhibit X, Y, and Z on why you don't use these guys, man. All right, Tommy. Base runner. Ah. Hello, darkness, my old friend. It's definitely a challenge, man. Not betting Lou Brock third was my mistake. Well, this guy really is just buns at this game. Hence the bunt dancing. Oh my god, Corey's absolutely just wrecking through this guy's lineup. I, I baited on that pitch, man. Oh! Come on, Rod. Rod Carew! I should have started you! 3-2! Kenny! Oh, this team, bro! Oh, this game, bro! It only rewards power! Yes! Paulie! Hey, you know what? You, uh, hey, eye for an eye! Bro. <clears throat> okay, anyways. Come on, this is the inning. At least tie the game! Paulie? Paulie? No, don't stay fair. No, man. How does that stay fair? No bailouts for me. Tommy E. Dumps it in there, man. Now, who is it now? Ken Griffey Sr., man. Smoked. All right, bet. First and second. Dump it in there. You're going home. It's Cedric's arm. You're going home. And Keith, out of fluke, fittingly ties this game. What the f go, Keith? We tied the game. But holy moly, does Jason Kendall stink. Yes, sir! Paulie! Your defense ain't great, but you're fast. A lot of flexibility with that, man. Yes! That was a great f***ing at-bat, I'm not gonna cap. They, were, they had a narrative constructed there so goddamn hard. Rolled through him the first two at-bats, and then he started fouling off pitches. We have to end this here, no extras. Fluke him! I'm like being early on a fast, oh. an outlier all of a sudden. Big rod, man. Up the middle. First and third. Mm. Damn, the power again. It's just all singles. 13 hits. Up the middle. Blouses. Blouses. Tony Gwynn. 14th hit is another single. We fought our way tooth and nail to this dub. We beat this absolutely potato of a player. But barely. 14 to 6 in the hit column. Four runs. Um, big stuff from Keith Hernandez. Rod Carew is the MVP. I made a mistake not, mistake not starting his ass. Robin Yount should have never saw the field. I figured I'd give him some play time. That card sucks. Guys who are trash. Paul Molitor. Um, let's go through the lineup here. What we got? Bums. Molitor. Buns. Yount, he got a hit, but still, it was blessings. Bum. Griffey Sr. God-tiered. Jason Kendall. Garbage. Never want to see that card again on my team. But really, it was this the guy had three runs, six hits, a couple flukies. But it was really uh, uh, that Josh Bell, he should have been struck, he should have struck out. Uh, I don't know what the f that was about. Um, but he didn't. And he had a home run. And before that, was Mickey Mantle. Cedric Mullins was 0 2, got a random walk, the bunt dance, God cheese. And then Mickey Mantle went off to PCI, laid inside a good tank to right field. Corey Kluber, a gem. 10 strikeouts in seven innings. That's, in my opinion, it's a gem. Absolute MVP goes to Rock Crew. And he was a f 
pinch hitter, man. That's how good he did. Pinch hitter came in here and stayed in the game and he got played the game. That's some shit right there. I'll catch you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.